Hi everyone, it's Brian Miller, Executive Vice President of your Building Industry Association of Northern Kentucky, coming to you with the November BIA update. First off, we're very excited to announce that we have raised over $20,000 in PAC funds this year. A big congrats goes to our raffle winner, Brett Blackwell from Central Bank and Trust for his $2,000 in prize money, and a big thanks go to Brett as he's decided to split those winnings back to the PAC. So $1,000 to Brett and $1,000 to the PAC. Thank you very much and congratulations, Brett. Uh, a little quick update about the Enswater Building Institute. Uh, Dr. Vicki Burling, our Director of Professional Development, will host two online information meetings for the Institute here soon. Those meetings will take place at 6 p.m. on Tuesday, November 24th, and 11 a.m. on Wednesday, November the 25th. For more information and to get your link to participate in those meetings, you can email Vicki at Vicki, that's V-I-C-K-I, at buildersnky.com com, or you can call her at 859-331-9500, or you can check out the Institute's Facebook page for more. The next uh, series of continuing education classes is going to be another C, uh, Super CEU Day, and it's set for early December. Our staff will send out information on our class lineup real soon. Each class is $75, where you will receive two credit hours for each class taken. Uh, we are planning on both in-person as well as virtual options for the classes, so you can rest assured that we have your safety as part of our greatest concern. We're also following the same protocols as public schools, so if you do attend, please note that we are taking every precaution to sanitize our space. And please also make sure that you follow the uh, necessary pro protocols. Uh, remember, all Builder members can attain their mandatory six hours of continuing education while learning valuable insights that address your needs today by taking these courses offered. The courses will also be hosted on demand, so you can meet your CEU requirements at your leisure. Uh, our holiday party this year is going to look a little different uh, due to the uh, restrictions imposed upon us by the pandemic. Uh, we will host our guests at the Madison Event Center on December 3rd with limited seating for 70. And we ask that those members who are over the age of 60 and or have the following risk factors as listed by the CDC choose not to attend this year as we want to assure your safety. Those CDC risk factors include cancer, chronic kidney disease, COPD, or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, heart conditions such as heart failure, coronary artery disease, or cardiomyopathies. They also include immunocompromised states that can be caused by a weakened immune system or from solid organ transplants. Uh, if, you have a, if you have obesity or severe obesity, please do not plan to attend, as well as people with sickle cell disease, those who are smokers or who have type 2 diabetes. Uh, tickets to the event are $75, and remember, a reservation made is a reservation paid with the BIA. Uh, please contact our office to purchase your admission by calling Anthony Taylor, our Director of Membership, at 859-331-9500, or you can simply email Anthony at anthony at buildersnky.com. The 2021 NHB International Builder Show is a little different this year and is now known as IBSX. It has transitioned to a virtual event. However, the exclusive IBS opportunities that attendees have come to expect, such as a great education lineup from in-person event, will still exist at this new IBX event, and these will even expand. Uh, those are all put together to, co to, to connect the home building industry together online during the IBS virtual experience. And it will be happening February 9th through 12th of 2021, so mark your calendars. Registration is now open. Uh, starting early bird registration rates are free for NHB members and $50 for non-members. Please go to buildershow.com to register or check out what there is to offer. A real quick shout out to our, those celebrating our membership milestones right now. Celebrating one year of association membership here at the BIA, Core 5 Industrial Partners, and also another year of, of association membership, Coronado Stone. Celebrating 10 years of association membership, Lindsay Construction, as well as Raised Beck Stoneworks. And a big 15 years of association membership goes out to Rob Hughes Masonry. We skip on to a great 40 years of association membership. That goes to Fisher Homes. And the grand poobah of them all this month, 45 years of association membership, Cobbage Construction. Thank you, Cobbage Construction, for all of your years of association membership. And thank you personally for all of your work in our advocacy services, especially on our Land Development Council. We would like to give a shout out to two new members joining our ranks in November. We'd like to, uh, we'd like to recognize and welcome DuPont Plumbing and Velasquez. A quick advocacy update. In Kenton County, we've been working with the Planning Commission to the last two years to cover industrial and commercial street specifications. Uh, due to the last subdivision regulation update, the cost for industrial and commercial street specifications rose sky high. Over the last couple of years, we've been meeting with members of the Subdivision Regulation Committee of the Kenton County Planning Commission, as well as had several meetings with the mayor's group in Kenton County, individual mayors, individual city managers, city engineers, county engineers, and county managers, 
Uh, look out for some meeting notices coming up in either December or January as we will want to have industry representation either online or in person to make sure that your voice is heard so we can deliver an affordable and effective street for commercial and industrial sections in Kenton County and keep our economy humming forward. In Boone County, we've provided comments to the Boone County Planning Commission regarding the I-275 Graves Road Interchange Study. Uh, comments include a drawback on a little bit of the recreational green space, as well as a beefing up of the southern portion of the commercial zone uh, south of the interchange, and a few other comments here that can really benefit the study area. Over the last uh, few months, we've been talking to Covington as they're looking to separate their MS-4 permit from SD-1. Uh, there's a lot of acronyms. MS-4 stands for the Municipal Separate Storm Sewer System. Uh, if they could look to do their own permit, the Kentucky Division of Water, we have a lot of experience from our members of the last decade or so regarding the problems with these permits can cause with business and how we can pare down the encumbrances of these permits to make it affordable for the city of Covington and also effective, not for just them, but for businesses alike. Be sure to check out all of our LinkedIn accounts, our Twitter account for all of the information, our latest news. Follow us on Facebook to see what events are coming up. And remember, not just like what we post, but share what we post. You need to help spread the gospel of what we do here at the BIA. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel to see future BIA update videos just like this one as soon as they go live. Have a healthy, safe, and wonderful November. Have an outstanding Thanksgiving. And we look forward to seeing all of you all real soon. Bye-bye.